Hey, what's going on? This is DK um, here for another book review. It's Thursday. You know what time it is. This week's book, uh, one of my favorites, Den of Thieves. Uh, it was written by James Stewart. He's a, or I guess he was a Wall Street Journal reporter, uh, won a Pulitzer Prize. Uh, this book is uh, in incredible. It, it talks about the history of Wall Street from, from the 80s. It goes over um, all about Michael Milken. Michael Milken is the junk bond king. For all, for all of you who don't know what junk bonds are, uh, you know, in other words, high yield bonds, um, you know, they, they're the bonds that aren't necessarily traded at AAA rating, um, but you know, are, have more of a credit risk. Anyway, we're not going to go into that in this video, but the book, it reads like a fiction but it's nonfiction, all right? And a lot of my friends get on me, they go, oh, you only read nonfiction, get, pick up a fiction. Well, this is the closest thing to fiction <laughs> that, you know, that I will probably read, honestly. Uh, it, it, it's it's the, the, the true story of how Michael Milken made, you know, $550 million in one year, which is equivalent to someone making $1.5 billion in one year. And that was, you know, he didn't own a company, that was his job. You know, he was a banker. And he just wasn't like an entrepreneur, didn't like, no, he got one check <laughs> uh, working for Drexel, which was the, uh, an investment banking firm in the 80s. All this was happening before I was born, so it's really cool to see and read about, you know, one of the original Wolves of Wall Street, right? This dude was, was bad. And he, uh, but bad, like, well, depending on who you ask, bad, good, bad, bad. <laughs> but he was, you know, he was, he was a genius. You know, the, the book takes place in New York, California, uh, Jersey, the, the Cayman Islands, and, and some of your favorite, you know, Wall Street names. For all of you all, you know, who are well-versed in finance, you'll know that KKR, uh, you know, Henry Kravis is a character, um, you know, uh, Wachtel, like the original Wachtel. Um, Goldman Sachs has a big role and some, some other huge names and huge firms. Um, Kidder Peabody, which isn't around in, anymore, as you know, mo some of you guys may know. So this book talks a lot about insider trading and, and, and the laws, you know, in, from the, in the 80s and 90s and how, how kind of how hard it was, but also how easy it is to get tripped up and to get greedy and money hungry. Um, this, the, the district attorney prosecuting the case was uh, Rudy Giuliani before he was mayor. It's one of the, the, the cases that helped propel him into, uh, you know, into being mayor. I mean, the case went on for, for uh, years and years, um, but it really, t this book t talks and highlights, talks about and highlights the ins and outs of uh, the justice system in New York, insider trading on Wall Street, and all the actors involved, right? And, you know, the, it's really a good versus evil, and depending on which, whose side you are, you know, depends on who's good, who's bad. Right, and it, I think the author does a really good job of, uh, you know, portraying, you know, all parties, at, you know, as objectively as possible. Right, and he stays very fact-driven. Um, you know, a very it's a clean read. You know, didn't you? I didn't even want to put it down. You know, so yeah, expect a lot of uh, historical lessons and, and lessons on insider trading in this book. And uh, you know, and what not to do, <laughs> and what to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a, a you know, a, a, a overall good book. I, good, book. I don't have one page for you to really go to. I mean, you can tell, you can see like all my notes and underlinings. You know, from, from I don't know, page one really, some pictures, and it really describes you know what life was like as a trader, as a, as a banker in the 80s and how much money they were truly making. I mean, it's, he, he literally pioneered junk bonds and made them what they are today. Um, but of course he went to jail for it <laughs> and he got barred from the industry for life. Now he has a foundation, I think it's called the Milken, Milken Foundation. His kid, uh, one of his sons is a you know, hot shot on Wall Street. Uh, I, think, I think he's like in his 40s or 50s now, but uh, his son. Um, but yeah, this is this is a, you know so all, every, everything you want out of a out of a good book on finance and it's a true story. So check it out. It's a long read. It's about 500, just under 500 pages, uh, but the words are pretty small and it is, it's dense. And you're gonna want to follow it because there are a lot of characters, a lot of drama, a lot of money involved. 
um, and a lot of good stuff about finance. So if you're a finance buff or you know, like me or, or work in the industry, I highly, highly recommend you learn your history, especially if you were born uh, after you know, 1985 <laughs> or 1990. If you're a millennial, pick this up so you can be uh, in conversations with your MDs and VPs and actually know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> All right, uh, so again, Den of Thieves by James Stewart. Check it out and let me know what you think. All right.